So hello everybody, my name is Thierry Fischer. I'm music director of the Utah Symphony Orchestra. I am a music director designated um, of the Sao Paulo Symphony Orchestra in Brazil. And I'm principal guest conductor of the Seoul Philharmonic in South Korea. Andrew is a fantastic creative person. Um, he's our composer in residence in, in Utah for two years, so we see him a lot. And before that, we already had a connection with him. We played in Carnegie Hall for the 75th anniversary of the Utah Symphony, and we, we played a commission, a percussion concerto with him. And this piece, I mean, like all of his music, is actually so simple. <laughs> it's not complicated. It's I would say extravagant, extremely spectacular. You don't know what to do with it when you hear it for the first time and you should not try to do anything with it. It speaks by itself. Andrew believes that everything is connected and that um, almost like everything is an illusion. So he makes people reacting, groups of the orchestra, reacting to each other, like you have a huge percussion boom on an upbeat, and then a big part of the orchestra going really fast and really loud, and then suddenly in soft, and then he has the strings to press the bows on the string, totally against everything they have learned in music schools and colleges and everything. And, but everything is in a very fast tempo, like, you know, you, you are inside, suddenly you open the door and whoosh, it's like, you know, blizzard and, you know, snow and wind and rain and, and everything at the same time. And then you shut the door and it's very calm. So he makes, you know, three celli playing alone, you know, boom, 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 like the heart beating, very easy, in a very hopeful and warm and welcoming way. So it's very contrasted, extremely energetic. And he, may, he creates connections rhythmically in an incredibly speedy way that as soon as you realize it's happening, it's already over. <laughs> Stephen Huff is a good friend. We, we perform regularly together. We've never done the Mendelssohn together. Uh, but for me, even a bigger reason to look forward to it, you know, what's more beautiful than doing a piece for the first time with a soloist um, I admire so much um, and Stephen's delicacy in, in classical style is, is phenomenal and it's Mendelssohn, you know, it's this mixture. Some people say we, we, we couldn't live without Beethoven and Mozart, but we could live without Mendelssohn. I absolutely don't believe in that. I think Mendelssohn is making a perfect bridge between two strong styles in musical history is at the same time very romantic, gorgeous melodies, um, almost burlesque sometimes. Uh, the second movement is honestly, you, you, you listen to it and you want to stay in it to say, where, where does he find these melodies? Where, where is it coming from, this, this young guy? It's incredible. So it's very early classics. We'll have a slightly reduced orchestra for that to, to give the sparkle and the lightness needed for that. Um, very virtuoso for the soloist in first and last movement. So a little bit like an, a small dramatic opera without any words.